Hey guys, welcome to another video from the tech shop and today we have the Apple HomePod and we're gonna do a review and a base test. But before we get into that, two quick things. Number one, the merch shop is up and running, so for the coolest merch in the game, click on the link below. Next is the 1000 subs giveaway. When this channel hits 1000 subscribers, I'll be giving away a very cool gift. So hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links in the description below. The first thing I must warn you about is if you have an Android phone, this will not work for you. In true Apple exclusivity form, this speaker will only work with the iPhone 5S and later. So if you are still rocking one of the older versions of the iPhone, you're out of luck. And that's too bad because this is a very well-built speaker. The HomePod is a late entrant into the fairly new smart speaker market. The market is dominated by Amazon's Alexa that gives customers the ability to order things with a voice command from Amazon and have it delivered in days. And the Google Assistant, which many say is the smartest assistant today. Google has a range of products from the mini to the max. And don't forget the third-party speakers that integrate with either Alexa or Google Assistant, such as Sonos and JBL Link. But guys, only time will tell who will dominate the smart speaker market, and the tech shop will be here to tell you about it. Reviewing the physical features first, the HomePod is heavier than it looks. The dimensions are height, 6.8 inches, width, 5.6 inches and it weighs in at a whopping 5.5 pounds. It's cylindrical in shape and currently comes in two colors, black, which Apple calls space gray, and white. The majority of the speaker is made of a fabric mesh that is soft yet durable. The top houses Siri and the touch display that lights up with voice interaction. You can tap the middle to pause, play, skip, repeat and volume up and down and tap the sides for volume up and down. There are no physical buttons on the HomePod so if you want to mute the microphones you have to unplug the device. Like many other smart devices the HomePod has to stay plugged in so Apple gave it a sturdy fabric coated power cord but unlike many of its competition the power cord is not easily removable. The base is made of a hard rubber material that will help the speaker to sit steady while playing music. The HomePod has seven tweeters and one woofer. The tweeters Tweeters are distributed around the body of the speaker while the woofer faces upward. This produces a 360 degree sound effect. The sound from this thing is just amazing. Stay tuned for the bass test. The HomePod is not portable. It has to stay plugged in to a power supply. Also, it's not waterproof, so don't take it to the bathroom or near the kitchen sink it might get wet. On the software side of things, the HomePod is great for you if you're heavy into the Apple ecosystem, like with Apple Music. Music from the speaker is rich and it doesn't distort at high volumes, and the mic will hear your voice even when the music is playing loudly. The speaker detects how close it is to walls and customizes the output so it always gives you the best listening experience for the space you're in. You can play music from Apple Music and Spotify. However, with Spotify, you cannot control the music with your voice. Not yet at least. You can also control devices in your home like your lights and your thermostat with a voice prompt. This is awesome. You can use the HomePod as a speakerphone, but you have to airplay the call from your phone to the device. You can't just say, hey Siri, call Mary to the HomePod. One thing that makes the HomePod not so great is its inability to differentiate voices. So anyone can tell it to read your text messages out loud. But this is a privacy issue that I think Apple should have fixed before selling the product. Overall, this is a great product. So now I'll do a sound test for you to determine how good the speaker sounds. <laughs>
Okay guys, that's my review. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe, like and share this video. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. And as always, keep it real.